Hello, welcome back to my channel. This time I'm doing a video on solving the N Queen's algorithm first through brute force and then through more refined AI approaches. This is the this should run all of them at once. And as you can see, it found the first solution for eight queens through brute force in 0.004 seconds. And it found all of them in 0.09 seconds using a hill climbing approach where it takes whatever gets the greatest improvement first. It took 1.175 seconds taking whatever gets better approach and also adding a completely random board into the mix it took only 0.7 seconds and trying a genetic algorithm where you take parts of boards and stitch them together took took seven total attempts and a total of 1.7319 seconds let's see its performance on a smaller board a one queen board As you can see, it found the first solution through recursive backtracking in 0 0.000004 seconds. And it found all of them in 0 0.000002 seconds. And found all of them in 1.072 divided it found them it found one in hill climbing minimal only shuffling when it can't find any solution that goes above the current one for over a hundred moves in 1.07 over 10,000 seconds in one ten thousandth of a second basically and this one when it shuffled whenever beneficial, it found it in a time competitive with the first solution backtracking approach. The genetic algorithm approach took way longer than everything but the minimal shuffling hill climb approach. But it solved the problem. Now let's see how it does on a bigger board. Nine queen. And it found the first solution for nine queens in 0 0.002 seconds through the brute force recursive backtracking. Found all of them in a little over half a second through recursive brute force backtracking. Found a solution through minimal shuffling approach in 0.224 seconds. Found a shuffling whenever it improves approach of hill climbing it found it in 0 0.006 seconds and the genetic algorithm with its randomness took 1.5 seconds to find a solution to the same problem yeah the inherent randomness kind of causes issues let's try a 10 queens board Yep. Well, that's a lot of damage and a lot of solutions. And this time, there's so many possibilities that it failed in the given number of generations. It, it never managed to produce a single one that actually solved the end queen's problem. It came pretty close in fif 15 seconds, finding a finding a finding a board that ha only has two queens that can flip. The minimal sh shuffling hill climbing approach took 0 0.3 seconds to find one. Here's where shuffling, whenever it improves, starts to become worse. At having taken 1.14 seconds to find a valid solution. 
And let's go back up here and compare it to the brute force. The first solution backtracking took 0.07 seconds, 0.007 seconds, and then it took 3.5 seconds to find all 724 valid solutions. But all this shows is that there's a on low, relatively low ends, there's less solutions. Let's try a 12 queen board. This may take a while. It's finding all the solutions. Yep, it's gonna take a while. There's a lot of them. Why are they dying so loudly? Hurry up. And this is why sometimes this approach may not, or brute force approach may start having problems. I'll bring you back when it's done, okay? Part, part of my stupid neighbors, but come on, let's see, how long do. Yep, this obviously took a while. I'm gonna scroll up. And it took so long that it took over 70 seconds. This one found a solution in 1.018 seconds with minimal shuffling. And by shuffling whenever there's any improvement, it, it brought that up to 20 seconds just to find one solution. To compare, the brute force single solution found a solution in point, point 0.3 seconds. And the genetic algorithm version is going to take a while and may. It took 38 seconds and didn't find a single solution. Instead, getting to a point where there's three queens interfering with each other for a total of six conflicts. Which. Yeah. Anyway, I, these approaches all work and all get to a solution, but they might not be the best for the end queen's problem, or I might be doing something that's horribly unoptimized. Anyway, that's all I have. Thanks. Bye.